Hi everyone, uh, it is the evening of July 13, 2013 and a quick update on the uh, Mac race. Actually, it's not going to be a quick update at all. I haven't been able to do a video all day long and I want to catch people up on the current state of things with the cruising fleet, the racing fleet, uh, current weather conditions and the forecast. So we're going to cover a lot of ground here. Um, so we're starting with the cruising fleet just to pick up where we were last night. Um, as you can see, Infinite Diversion is up in the front here, and uh, still, and uh, they've got quite a lead on a vote-for-vote -vote basis, um, 30 miles to the next boat right here. Um, earlier today, we saw Infinite Diversion as they were going past Little Sable, Big Sable Point, um, doing more like 7 or 8 knots, and now their boat speed's down to 5 knots, and we'll explain what's going on with that a little later. Um, there's sort of a next group of boats here in the cruising division, um, and they're pretty big boats, they're pretty fast boats. And they made it across the lake while there was still breeze is basically what happened. And they're into uh, just a little bit more breeze than this group of boats back here. Um, this group of boats, you guys who are watching on Facebook maybe saw, uh, saw me today talk about how the wind died. And we'll look at that later uh, in the center of the lake. And this boy right here really told us that. And these guys didn't make it across before the wind got really, really, really light. And then there's group number four. And these guys actually looked really terrible uh, just awful earlier today and they're looking a little bit better right now so while the wind died out here in the middle of the lake there is really a bit of a thermal going on out here and um, it's not much but there's something going on so Endeavor I just uh, got an email from Matt Gallagher that uh, he, he uh, is working the thermals there on the shore uh, uh, getting up to Milwaukee it's it's tough he says right now he's doing 3.3 knots so sort of like in the world of doing well um, uh, infinite diversion is doing great though slowing down a little bit these guys are still going pretty you know okay uh, we're seeing a little variety of boat speeds there but generally you know four or five six knots depending on the boat in here you know not so much 2.5 knots <laughs> and over here depending on the boat that we're talking about we're seeing a touch more than the middle of the lake maybe not a ton more um, than the middle of the lake so that's the cruising fleet we're gonna talk about the forecast in a few minutes and and we'll see what we think on the cruising fleet but I wanted to to, to maybe start with that quickly let's go to our uh, racing fleet and I'm just gonna zoom to them so they've you know they're just started uh, you know basically that I, I was just looking at wind observations and we'll look at them in a second and the winds if I can get this thing to draw are sort of a, they look out of the east or maybe out, really more out of the northeast is what the way that these guys are acting um, right now they look like they're sort of um, uh, staying close hauled as close to the wind as they can get maybe reaching just a little bit with the wind that's slightly north of east um, so the not surprisingly the couple of lead boats here are wind quest who's going 8.8 .8 knots now that's good that's not great for that boat um, uh, not a criticism of the boat at, at, all, at all guys but earlier today they were going 11 knots um, and uh, Il Mostro is going 8.9 knots again they were going 11 knots earlier today and um, these are gr great boat speeds on beautiful boats but not uh, not you know super fast so Morgan 41 here going 5.3 few random boats for you Kahuna which is a uh, S2 9.1 5.6 knots. Uh, we've got um, Sail Monkey going uh, Benetou 36.7 going 5.5 knots. Again, these are good speeds for these boats, but they're not uh, not full speed for these boats. So uh, you know, as the as the day wears on here and the night wears on, and we'll look at the forecast in a second. And this lake breeze that's been sort of moving them along dies. I wouldn't be surprised to see sort of um, boat speeds really drop off uh, um, into the night. It's going to be a, a long, long night. Okay, so that's a quick overview of the fleets, uh, just to give you a quick idea of where everyone is. Let me just sort of, right, here's the big picture of everybody, if you'd like to see the big picture of where the fleets all spread out. The racers, I imagine they're going to stay right along the shore, and I'll show you why in a second, but that's the, and the cruisers, some of them made it across, some of them not so much made it across, but that's the big situation. So, what's going on? Um, let me show you uh, really quickly here, I'm going to zoom out a little bit, sorry about this. To Lake Michigan and we're going to look at the National Data Voice Center a couple of observations first one I want to look at is uh, I mentioned that um, uh, infinite diversion has been seeing lighter winds and we'll, we'll, we'll um, we don't really have a great observation station right here on Point Betsy but let's look at Ludington as an example and you can see though the wind in uh, Ludington here is uh, zero zero knots <laughs> gusting to one, gusting to 1 1.9 knots so you can see the winds gotten really light over sort of on the east side of the lake um, and uh, that's not, uh, you know, good news, obviously, if you're trying to, to, 
to sail over in there and we're seeing that in the slow speeds with the boats that we just saw remember i mentioned in the middle of the lake that the wind uh had shifted to the northeast or the north i'm sorry north northwest northeast and had uh had died this boy in the middle of the lake is something i mentioned on facebook earlier today and looking at its history real quick just want to show everyone this in case you didn't see the link overnight you know i mean there weren't great wind speeds but there were solid wind speeds in the middle of the lake and then about 10 o'clock this morning when the thermal formed the lake the lake breeze that's a function of the warm land and the cold water all of a sudden kablam right the wind shifts from the southeast and the north northwest it drops from what little it was to even less and then takes a little bit wa while to get going back up to sort of even five six knots that we see now um Right now, it's at the highest that it's been for the day at 7.8 knots, but it's out of the north-northwest. And uh, if you're trying to get to the north, a wind out of the north-northwest is really, really hard work because you've got to work your way into the wind by beating, and uh, that's not, not good. This, uh, I just want to show the trend real quick. This is that boy off of Ludington that I showed you a second ago, currently zero knots, uh, doing 1.1 knots of wind right now. And you can see, you know, this is why... Um, this is why we saw that uh, infinite diversion was doing really, really well. These are observations every 10 minutes, but you can see this morning, you know, there's 9, 10, 12 knots of wind through the day as we go from 9 a.m. to 10 a.m. to 11 a.m. to noon. And now we're down to 5.8, 3.9, 1.9. So there's a real heavy lightning trend sort of on the east side of the lake. Okay, so what's going to happen going forward? Let me just jump here to some model results and just tell you what 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 the racers are looking at. So this is four o'clock central. Um, it's five forty-five central right now. Um, this is pretty close, and and I think it really is reflecting the situation pretty well. I mean, we have a light spot in the middle of the lake. We have light east winds here, um, where our racing fleet is. Um, let's just go forward and see what happens here. So, you know. For the people in the middle of the lake, the light winds get worse. If you're down here in Milwaukee, you keep moving. And that's, I think, really important, that you keep moving where all these guys are stopped. I think that's important. Up here for infinite diversion and for the boats that have caught up, the winds are pretty light. And down here for the racers, they stay in sort of an east-northeast northeast wind. They're going to keep working their way right up the shore is what I think they're going to do. Okay, that's 7 p.m. Here we are at 10 p.m. Um, we've got a nice easterly flow now established across... Um, sort of the southern third of the lake and we're getting light in the middle of the third of the lake and very light in the northern third of the lake where we're sort of seeing the infinite diversion right now so I expect these guys maybe to catch up a touch as the night wears on and these guys it's a tough tough night here for the racing fleet they can't get this way maybe they'll get a little more breeze but whew, tough night for them uh, one o'clock in the morning looks very similar we got a little more breeze here just to be clear that's like six or seven knots uh, if you look at the scale down here of wind and our meteorologist Chris Bedford said he thought the nighttime winds might be overbaked a little bit so uh, I am I'm with him on that and I, it's gonna be slow going um, okay so that's one o'clock Sunday morning four o'clock Sunday morning southeast gradient wind takes over at six to eight knots we should see people just kind of scooting right up along the shore here in our racing fleet um, I don't think we'll take anyone to take a shot across the lake yet, but we'll see what happens there. Six to eight knots up here for um, for infinite diversion, probably as they work through the Manitou slowly. And now we're at 7 a.m. tomorrow morning. We're four to six, six to eight knots easterly flow across most of the lake. If you've made it up to this part of the lake, you're going to end up doing a little bit better than the guys that are back here, sort of rich get richer kind of thing. And 10 a.m. we have a thermal that begins to set up the the, the uh, pressure dies over really the whole lake by 1 p.m. we're in a huge thermal and only two four six knots of wind over most of the lake and it's really really dying if you're up in this area right here which is not uh, not good for our leaders and this is a really fully fledged thermal here with a high pressure system elongated over the middle of the lake and more pressure along the shores and that's why I think I think you're gonna see the racers try and just stay along this shore and stay in this thermal which is a really nice angle for as long as they can I wouldn't be su surprised to see a lot of people sticking along here as the race wears on to stay in this activity rather than going across the lake into what looks like kind of, you know, certain death um, here across the lake and uh, death by a thousand flies um, is what that looks like. Uh, this is 7 p.m. tomorrow. That thermal's still hanging out there. Boy, that would stink. Some people are going to be stuck here. That's going to stink. 10 p.m. tomorrow night. Wow, right? Um, a little bit for the rich getting richer up in the north end of the lake, but incredibly light winds across the entire lake. 1 a.m. Monday morning. Boy, we get four to six knots and a couple of little patches. That's about it. 4 a.m. Monday morning. I'm just going to keep going here. 7 a.m. Monday morning. 10 a.m. 
1 p.m. we start to get a little bit of flow going on here as the thermal sets up in the southern end of the lake. If you're up here, it's going to start to pay to be up in this area if you can make it that far north. This is 4 p.m. Monday. Uh, now we got some nice gradient coming out of this, uh, this sort of thermal high that's set up here. And this is the synoptic high, the big picture high. And 10 p.m. on Monday night. 1 a.m. on Tuesday morning. I hate to keep fast forwarding this far. I wish we were all done by Tuesday morning, but we're in a, if you're over here, you've got a nice angle and a nice way to get across right now. If you're over here, it's a little bit tougher, but still you'll be moving anyway, not fast. Um, and fast forwarding through, I'm sort of 7 a.m. on the 16th now, which is Tuesday morning, 7 a.m. Now we get some nice breeze by 10 a.m. and sort of 1 p.m. on Tuesday. We, we really get into sort of 8 to 10 knot flow. And we should really start having boats move along at that point. It's just that Sunday and Monday are going to be tough. This is 4 p.m. on Tuesday. And, you know, boy, I, I really hope everyone will sort of work their way in by that point. But it's going to be a long race. Okay, long update. I apologize for the long update, but there was a lot to cover. Um, I will try and check in one more time tonight. Please keep following us on Facebook and Twitter. And thanks so much. Bye.